Hi guys. I've shown you already my Titan scatter mod, and now I'm using a strap for the Titan, and this is connected here, but I don't have it on right now because I'm going to be opening the gun up, and the hole that the strap goes through is through both ends of the shell, so it won't open if I have it in. But um, what I'm doing is, and since the scatter mod was such a success, but the Titan has a safety feature, so you can't pull the trigger if it's pointed straight up unless you shake it. Um, I'm going to be opening the gun up and taking that safety feature out. I've actually done this before. What it is, is it's a small ball that um, moves between these grooves. So when it's pushed up, it moves in a certain groove that blocks the trigger from moving back. So, this mod will let you angle your shots, which lets you shoot a little bit farther. One thing that's annoying about opening up the Titan is you need a Dremel or be really good with a saw because you need to, um, this, there's a ring on the Titan that, um, won't open even if you take all the screws out, so you need to, um, Dremel both ends and make sure that it's completely split or your Titan won't open. So do that before you take out the screws. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. And surprisingly, mine opened up perfectly first time. Yay! So without screwing anything up that, like, don't touch anything that I don't tell you to, unless you're doing other mods too. But first thing you want to do is take the trigger out so it doesn't get in the way. And you take this screw out so the spring will come out with the trigger mechanism. And you kind of twist the trigger free. And I dropped the spring, so I'm getting that. Uh, why do I always drop everything? Okay. Um screwdriver. This is the mechanism where the ball is. And I'll tilt the gun up. See, now the ball's out. Um, sorry. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. Because the gun's pointed straight up. And now it's not, because it's not straight up. So, in order to take that out, whoops. Uh, I'm sorry. I use my computer to tape. I have a MacBook, so I'm just using that camera, and I realize that's not the best way to do it. Okay. Take these out. And you might as well throw this piece away. You're never going to use it. Um, you can use your screwdriver to just kind of pop the ball out. And... Come on. Okay, ball's out. Never gonna use that again. Alright, so, yeah, basically that's it. You reassemble it, which, um, I'll show you how once I find that spring. Uh, spring. Ah, here it is, under the gun. That's right. Okay, um, twist the trigger back into its original place. So it should be facing there once twisted. Which might be a little tricky. Right, fine. To make it easier, you can undo this so the black bar that the trigger twists into comes out and you can twist it in easier hopefully yeah that worked a lot better okay Ugh. I had it in but it fell out hold on 
Okay, got it. Um. No, I didn't. It's upside down. Ah. I'm still toying with trigger twisting. Okay, got it. So, make sure that the black part goes over the orange part real nice there. Where's that screw? The only reason I'm showing how to put it back together is if you do take this gun apart, um, like more than this, you're going to probably forget nine times out of ten where some of the stuff goes. So, I'm probably going to do this from now on just to show the people that um, don't really remember where the stuff goes, where it is, so it's easier to put back together and their guns don't break. Because I don't like breaking other people's guns, that's not good. And I really don't like breaking my own guns. That's really not good. Having trouble with the spring. Oh, also, if you want to do this for the Hornet, just do the same thing, but um, take the trigger out and unscrew there. But I never use my Hornet. Are you serious? I dropped the spring. Oh. Want to know why I never use my Hornet? It's broken. Just remembered that. So I was thinking to myself, why don't I ever use my hornet? Yay! Where's the screw? Yay! Okay, so screw on the other shell of the gun, and it should work great. Okay, so reassemble it and put the scatter end on. You've done the scatter mod. At 22 pumps, the scatter mod gets 120 feet, so that's usually what I pump it at. Okay. Straight up. I know you couldn't see it, but there's none left, and I know you heard the noise. So, thanks for watching.